hi guys and welcome back to my channel for another day of laundry motivation if you guys are new here welcome if you guys are returning it's good to be back i have been gone for a while and if you are interested in that life update i will leave that information down below in the description in today's video i am getting ready to head on vacation so i did a bunch of shopping and i am just going to be washing everything that i purchased getting ready to go ahead and start packing I've already kind of pre-sorted my light clothes from my dark, so I already have all the light stuff here that I'm throwing into the washer in the basket. Everything else you'll see, I'm gonna start putting into the hallway, getting ready to wash next. Here's my pile of darks that I've already separated and now what I'm going to do is further separate this pile into two. One will be washed on a normal cycle and the other I'm going to wash on a delicate cycle, including this dress that I have for a Halloween costume. I am going to just wash this and a couple of other um, like silky fabrics and things that I think are a little bit more delicate. I'm going to wash those on their own. These jeans got pretty wrapped around other clothes in the spin cycle. So what I'm doing is just separating the jeans, kind of shaking them out, making sure that the pockets are in so that when they go through the dryer, hopefully there's no ironing or steaming needed when they're done and I can just fold them and pack them straight from the dryer. As I'm putting things into the dryer, I am taking out the items that I do not want to dry that instead I will hang up and uh, air dry or steam or press so I am not going to be drying most of it. Pretty much it's just everything that's denim I will throw into the dryer. Everything else I am going to be hanging up and either letting air dry or I will steam or iron it later. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights
I'm going to start the delicate clothes and go ahead and hang up everything that I want to air dry on my little bag hooks that are also in the laundry room that I'm just going to use to hang everything up for now. On the items that are really wrinkled, I'm going to use Downy Wrinkle Releaser Spray just so that it'll make ironing or steaming them once they are dry a little bit easier. Sometimes, but you're making me nervous. No, I've realized that I can't live without you. I didn't dry anything that I put on delicate wash. Instead, I'm just hanging everything to dry and then I will either steam or iron it later.
The tassels on this dress for Halloween apparently got frayed and caught on clothes in the spin cycle and you can see the tassels at the bottom got super tangled so I spent a lot of time here just detangling them slowly so I didn't rip it and make it worse. And then I had to go back through and cut the ends of the tassels if you guys have any tips for how to like reseal the bottom so that they stop fraying, I would appreciate them down below. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Things. You could be the part where it all begins 
Here I'm loading the last load of laundry into the dryer, cleaning the vents, cleaning the floors, doing a little bit of organizing while I finish hanging up the rest of the clothes to air dry. It's the next morning and I'm going to go ahead and take all of the clothes out of the dryer that I loaded last night. And I'm going to stand here and fold them because to be honest, I knew if I put them in the basket or into the room that they were not going to get folded and put away right away. So instead I'm folding them here, um, listening to a podcast. And I then will go ahead and check on all of the clothes that I have hanging up behind me that were air drying overnight. And I'm going to start ironing.
I brought all of the clothes that I air dried on hangers overnight into my room and what I'm doing here is just kind of going through the clothes seeing what I need to either iron or steam separating things that pretty much are good to go um, again I'm packing these directly from the hangers so I'm not going to be too picky with how to iron them and if they're a little bit wrinkled because again they're going on a suitcase and not too worried about it um, so I'm going to go ahead and pack and fold or hang up things that are good to go and then I will do a little bit of a touch-up iron on the rest of the items I decided to iron instead of steam because it would be quicker. My iron is on a very, very low heat because I am notorious at leaving iron marks on clothes, so I no longer put my iron on high. Um, so it looks like I'm putting a lot of effort into ironing, but really it's just on a super low setting. Also, because I'm going to pack these directly when I'm done ironing, I'm not being super picky and particular on how I'm ironing. It's just really getting out the major wrinkles, and again, I'll steam or iron when I get to vacation.
I hope today's video was able to provide you guys with a little bit of motivation to get started on your to-do list, whatever it was that you had to get done, whether that's laundry, cleaning, cooking, whatever it is you had on your to-do list, I hope that you guys were able to tackle it along with me. If you guys like weekly laundry motivation videos like this one, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment or leave any questions or suggestions down below in the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.